my dear friends thank you for your prayers god is answering all of our prayers today i have good news to tell you president trump and his team some of his team are seriously considering to concede both his wife and his daughter and son in law as well as some of his spiritual advisors my friends all of them are interested that he should concede and today he is very little bit i should say he is very much depressed i told him and his team today i am praying for you if i should have seen if i would have seen president trump's humility probably for the first time in the last 4 years what i have seen today he would have been the president basically he lost pennsylvania 40 50000 Georgia 10-15,000, Arizona 10-15,000. Same like he won 77,000 with 77,000 last time when I supported him. Now he lost with the same 70-80,000 when I went against him writing the book as per the Holy Spirit. Not personally. He knows my heart. if i would have gone against him personally he wouldn't be talking to me his people wouldn't be talking to me he wouldn't be praying to me i prayed today for him and i want you to pray for him i was just talking to a dear girl her name is britney just few minutes ago literally i she's a trump supporter and i told her she doesn't know all that how much i supported trump 2016 and i told her i have donated 80 million books and she couldn't believe me donate because nobody donates at one book 10 books 80 million copies and i told president trump his three of the team members today if he will concede now and campaign in georgia two republicans will win 100% and senate senate will be controlled by 52 republicans instead of democrats because the founders of the us made such a beautiful law that the three branches of the government should not be controlled by one right now republicans control basically supreme court is 6 6 to 3 republican appointee 6 and three democrat appointees and if there is a possibility if democrats will win in georgia two seats which i am not supporting democrats for the senate i only wrote the book against trump with the obedience of the holy spirit god you know i'm not a religious i believe in god i believe in the truth i believe in obedience and i do what god says that's why if he would have listened to me october 2019 when i told him i gave you all this letter he didn't listen he would have been the president he would have not been impeached as i said if you would have listened to me about the corona may 10th white house corona will come on may 10th watch on facebook this year 6 months ago he would have not gotten corona if i did not campaign alan door switch and me i was the one brought alan door switch who is a lifelong democrat america's number one number one lawyer constitutional professor harvard lawyer 80 years old is my friend from since 97 we met him in kata two years ago me and dave mcwade and, and jyoti begal was there jyoti is now in india last 16 months i am in america and around the world so anyway i convinced elan that you need to help trump otherwise he would be impeached if it is not for elan dorswich and god and my prayers and your prayers trump would have been removed in the senate with two three senators and i worked day and night three weeks i stayed for his not removal so i am not against him even now i told today if you concede republicans will win in the senate and you can run and win in 2024 if you want because joe biden is not going to run after 4 years he will be one term president and kamala may run so what i'm saying is i'm thinking now to convince him at any cost by any means spiritually politically strategically yesterday i said Biden will get three not six electoral votes. See today, CNN gave three not six. 
whatever i say whether it is in india or in africa in america i supported bill clinton 92 he won i supported bush in 2000 he won i supported obama in 2008 he won i supported trump in 2016 he won now i supported biden he won because i do what the god's holy spirit tells me to do i don't do what i do 